At last. There we go. My love <laughs> has come and gone. <laughs> My lonely days are over. Really <laughs> set the boot there, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Everton in the USA. We'll be here regularly with various members of the team and coaching staff to keep you posted with everything that's happening over here in the States. Today, I'm joined by Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Tom Davis. Welcome, lads. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we've got plenty coming up for you, including exclusive footage of our journey over here from Merseyside, an American penalty challenge, and questions from you, and of course, plenty from Dom and Tom. So, Tom, Dom, thank you very much for joining us. How does it feel to be back? Feels good. It's been a, it's been a good week so far. Um, nice to be out here in the sun, training. Tough one today. Nearly passed out in the first 10 minutes, <laughs> but it's yeah. been good. Yeah? Yeah, it's been good. Decent. How were your summer breaks? Nice, yeah. Really relaxing. Got to explore the world and enjoy myself, yeah. I saw a few pictures of yours. Looked like you had, uh, <laughs> had a bit of fun. Yeah, definitely. Uh, got to Mexico, California. And then Spain for a bit, so it was, it was nice, yeah. You get, where'd you get to? Uh, Miami, Ibiza and Marbella. Oh, the modern day player, <laughs> hey, the modern day player. Well, we, well, we did work, we did work hard. <laughs> yeah, we, we let off back yeah. the back end. I was coming to that, I saw yeah. pictures of you uh, meeting up and working out together. Do you think, think it's important to make sure you're back in, in condition before you join pre-season? Definitely, because it's almost like a pre-pre-season nowadays. I think when you get four or five weeks off, your body starts to decondition, so... I think you've got to you've got to keep ticking over, keeping on with your gym, so that you can come back and hit the ground running. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're out here now. The f the full squad is back together. Is it is it good to have the the full squad training? Yeah, it's great to have the gang back together. Really, I think at first it's hard coming back here and doing your testing and wherever, just getting through the first few days. But then now we can really kick on, and it's nice to have everyone around. Did you know it's Tony Sage's birthday today? I did, man. yeah. yeah. You today. never know though if you looked at him. No, he never know. looks like he's happy, does no. he? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure we'll all wish him happy birthday yeah. during the Happy evening, birthday, Sagey. Happy birthday, Sagey. Well, Sagey. the team have been here a full day now and it's fair to say that they, and we, to be fair, travelled here in style. So let's take a look at the journey.
And we're back. And we're back here in America. Nice to, to be out here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I missed the one last year um, coming back from the Euro. So my timing was a bit different. So it's nice to be here getting a, a good, good run out in the sun. Yeah, was it you were out here last year for the Yeah, for I was the out here for Florida Cup. Um, it was a great experience, great games to play in. and um, Nice to see the fans as well and be on this side of the world. Obviously, we don't get to come over very often, but it's good to be back out here. Yeah, well, you both seem to enjoy holidaying here, We're both out here training now. And, and there's so many Evertonians that, that are based out here now, isn't there? Toffees are everywhere, even like <laughs> when I was on my travels, you know, when you'd least expect it, you know, people would come up and say, you know, I'm an Everton fan from Colombia, but well, no, yeah, and things like that. So, <laughs> yeah, there's toffees everywhere. What do you enjoy about America, though, the USA? Um, for me, it's just, it's completely different to being in England. You get the weather. Um, yeah, it's just like a bit more of an eye-opener and you get to experience this side of the world, really, yeah. I think, I don't know, for me, you can kind of be a little bit anonymous, you know, and go about, your, go about your business and just enjoy and relax in a different environment somewhere maybe you've not been before. And like you say, else when the weather's nice and <laughs> the food's good, so. Yeah, absolutely. Which is your, your favourite your favorite place in America? I've been being for the first time this year, I'd have to say Miami. Um, just had a bit of everything. The beach was beautiful. Uh, a lot of other stuff was, was beautiful as well, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, laughing there, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Yeah, well, I'll like the building, the, yeah. the, the, the buildings and that. <laughs> really great buildings, yeah. Yeah. I'll change the subject quickly. Okay. What about yourself? Where do you, where's your favourite place um, in America? I think I like California, to be honest. Yeah. Um, they're on New York. Been to a few different places in America, but I think them two are the standout places for me. What's yeah. your first visit? Out here. <laughs> Do you remember? Mine was LA actually, yeah, a few years ago, uh, 2018 I think it was, I came to LA for the first time and it's like just what you see on the, see on the films, you know, it's just like you go there and it's quite surreal, the palm trees and all that and <laughs> it's kind of how you'd expect it to be but it's just nice to see it in real life. Yeah, it doesn't disappoint, does it? No, what no. What about you, Tom? Um, well, when I was younger for Everton we went to the Dallas Cup, which was a really good tournament and yeah, I loved it, loved it. The, the time I went there and ever since I've come back I've always had good experiences here uh, but yeah I think for me that was the first time I went it was it was a really good experience a lot of culture there and a great tournament to play in yeah so yeah it sounds as I remember you playing and then did well didn't you Is yeah we, we got beat in the semi-final with quite a young team but yeah it was it was great to be out here and playing against different players and stuff like that yeah well whether it's Dallas Miami Washington LA I mentioned before that there are Evertonians ev everywhere and uh, that they're growing in numbers as well, isn't it? It's, it's, it's remarkable. Unbelievable, yeah. yeah. It's like you say, you're so far away from, from being back home and, and you know, people come up and say, oh, I'm an Everton fan and things like that. So it's nice to, to have that when, you, when you're on your travels. Yeah, it's always great that we see Evertonians everywhere. Well, you've got this far into, into the interview. Now we've got the, the one part you're looking forward to yeah, most, Tom, wait. I can tell. From the outset, we've got Aussie's quiz. Oh, yes. Five nice. questions, very simple. Um, it's a multiple choice. You get to, to decide which of the, which are we playing, of the three. Are we playing together or against each other? You're playing against each other. Oof. What does the winner get? Oh, I've not decided that. I'll have a think on that. I knew you'd want something. I probably yeah. should have anticipated that option, <laughs> like, that you'd want something for winning. I do like that. Pat on the back. And there okay. might even be a quirky little fact at the end of, oh, uh, nice. of each one, which I also know you'll appreciate. I will, nice. yes. So here we go. Question one. Which famous American musical was based in Baltimore? We're obviously off to Baltimore next. Yeah. Was it A, Rent, B, Hairspray, or C, Fiddler on the Roof? I think I'm Start with to, an easy one, aren't you? I think I'm going to have to phone a friend. <laughs> phone me. Who would you phone? <laughs> Hello? Hey. Um, sorry, just on Aussie's quiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, been asked a question here about Baltimore. And um, just wonder if you know what musical was filmed here. I think it was um, yeah, Rent. Was Oh, did is that? Yeah, I, I, taking an educated guess, I'd say rent. 30 seconds, so I'm going to have to go. Yeah, go on, Pam. Okay, thanks. Anyway, bye -bye. So, 
How did you, you've obviously told your friend? I'm going to go with rent. You're going to go with rent. What about you? What are the other answers? Uh, B, <laughs> hairspray or C, fiddler on the roof. I'll go fiddler on the roof. Well, you're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say hairspray, man. Have you seen that before a call? <laughs> <laughs> it was hairspray, something I've obviously never needed. The only one I know is hairspray as well. <laughs> but I thought it's too obvious. <laughs> And here's your interesting fact from this one. In 1962, the same year that Hairspray takes place, the Maryland Court of Appeals ruled that a group of high school and college students were rightfully arrested and convicted for staging a sit-in at the segregated Hooper's restaurant in downtown Baltimore. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I'm it's not always quite a good sure. one to know that. Yeah, yeah it was I've been one to of Hooper's. those quirky little facts. Hooper's? I've been there, yeah. What is it? Restaurant. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, let's move on. It's going so well. <laughs> Yeah. Question two. Streets that run diagonally in Washington, D.C. are all named after what? A, former presidents, B, former mayors, or C, states? It's a tough one, Oz. Former presidents, I'll go. Former presidents? I'm going to go with states. And you would be correct. Yes, <laughs> one nil. <laughs> <laughs> Very good start. And here's your fact, or your, 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 your uh, statement. The, the diagonal streets in Washington are all named after states, with Pennsylvania and Maryland meeting at the capital. Oh, nice. Moving on again swiftly, because the facts aren't exactly wonderful, are they? Uh, question three. Which of these famous stars was not born in Baltimore? A, Prince. D, David Hasselhoff. Or C, Jada Pinkett Smith. Which was not Ooh. born in Baltimore. Again, I'm going to have to go with C. I was going to say C. But if you're going C... You're behind you. You're chasing here. I oh, know. I need to get it out there. So A, Prince. B, David Hasselhoff. C, Jada Pinkett Smith. And I'll say C. So you're both going C? Yeah. yeah. Wrong again. I just oh, avoid wow. whatever he goes for. Choose yeah, another yeah. one. You've got a better <laughs> opportunity. It's Prince. Oh, where was he born? Um, well, Prince sang a song called Baltimore, but he was actually born <sighs> in Minneapolis. Trick question. Because you remember that song? Yeah. Yeah. Baltimore, Baltimore. Close. <laughs> question four. Which of these famous American landmarks is not in Washington, D.C.? A, the Lincoln Memorial, B, the White House, or C, Mount Rushmore? Could be the White House, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Both C, both correct. Well done. Oh, Thank you. You're flying. 2-1, Tom. Took, took my answer. <laughs> Mount Rushmore National Memorial is a massive sculpture carved into Mount Rushmore in the Black Hills region of South Dakota. Are we close to there? No. No. Question five. The Baltimore Let's Orioles go. play which of these sports? A, baseball, B, basketball, or C, American football? Baltimore Orioles. What were they called? The Baltimore Orioles. What was the first Orioles. answer? Like a, a baseball, <laughs> B, basketball, or C, American football? Oh, it's a tricky one. I'll go um, baseball. No, it's not that. Is it not? You've locked in your answer, though, so you can't change it. I don't really I'm know. I'm going to go A. Baseball. I, oh, basketball. <laughs> no, <laughs> I said. What was basketball? B. B, I'm going to go for. B, basketball. You are wrong. <laughs> Dominic's right. I'm starting <laughs> to think he's starting to see in my, my sheet here. Last no, couple I can't see. Well, here's so. the, the quirky one. The football team are called the Ravens, and Baltimore doesn't have a basketball team, so well done. How could you not know that? Well done for noticing that. You follow the NBA That's as well. what I thought the question was. <laughs> you follow basketball? Yeah, I know. You don't really watch it then, do you? Oh, well, win some, you lose some. Mm. Anyway, moving on again. Is this Next the decider? Up, What's what? Is this going to be the decider? No, there is no decider. It finished 2 2. Well done. Oh, you're you joking. You just drew the quiz. I've only got five questions. Oh, I didn't bring a backup. Did you not bring Rock a bonus? Scissors. No, I didn't bring a bonus. Just in case we didn't bring a backup. Go on, paper, scissors, stone then. Best of three. Rock, rock paper, scissors, and then you shoot. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes. 1 0. 1 0 me. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 1 1. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Two, one. <laughs> Good morning, America. 
Anyway, now that we've solved that problem, next up we've got the first of what's going to be a regular feature, US style long run up penalty kicks. Azmir Begovic is the goalkeeper. Today's challenger was Salmon Rondon. Let's see how we got on after a very tough first training session. It's time for some American penalties. First up, Salomon Rondon. Right, more serious questions now. And I want to reflect on, on last season. Obviously, frustrating one for both of you fitness-wise. But Dom, I've got to start with you. Despite that frustration, Palace. I mean, it was a special night, a special moment. What are your memories of the game and the goal? <sighs> Incredible it was. Just so like heightened emotion. And then obviously scoring the, scoring the winner and just seeing it, people running on the pitch during like <laughs> in the middle of the game was just so surreal. But I think just a big release from everybody of like just pure emotion, pure joy. And then watching it back afterwards, I got goosebumps for ages, you know, just watching the reels. And uh, yeah, delighted to obviously score the winning goal. That was brilliant. I was, I was commentating and I actually may have jumped higher than you <laughs> when, <laughs> when that goal went in and I'm trying to commentate and keep the microphone as far away from myself as possible. So you didn't hear me cheers. The, the, the noise at Goodison Park that night is one of the, <clears throat> the most electric I've heard. For me as well, like the biggest moment I've been involved in. Um, you know, ideally we wouldn't have been in that situation, but we were where we were. So we had to get ourselves out of it and what it produced in terms of atmosphere and emotion from players, staff, fans, the whole club was just like an incredible, incredible feeling. Are we hoping to use that as a springboard now for, to take into next season, this upcoming season? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think you saw the unity of the club and what that can do um, for us as players as well in, in terms of translating that into performance, you know, having the old crowd behind us and pushing us forward it makes Everton uh, Goodison Park a fortress and makes it very very difficult for teams to come and play against us and I think you know when we're collectively together like that it's, it's a difficult force to be reckoned with. It can be incredible so what are your what are your hopes for this season have you have you set targets have you even got your eyes on on the possible World Cup ahead? Of course of course you know the World Cup in the winter I want to first and foremost, start the season well and, and score goals and, and kind of, you know, learn from l last season's experience and the injuries and things like that and just be able to, to play and play freely and, and enjoy my football and, and score goals. And Tom, on to your similar story in terms of frustration last season from injury perspective. Nice to be back now and are you, are you at 100%? Yeah, well, obviously last season was tough. Um, I think just going, going off what Dom's saying, it was, it was a really big effort from the players, the, the staff, everyone involved in the club, really. I think for me, coming back into the team and seeing how hard everyone was working and um, getting myself back in to, to be around, it was just great. And obviously the day was fantastic itself. But yeah, I feel good, 100% and looking forward to, to this year, yeah. But well, you mentioned when you were out that you missed playing and, and you fell in love with the game all over again. Is that true? Yeah, I think... I think when you when you're in it, playing every week or training every week, it's it's not something you take for granted, but it becomes natural to to do that. So for me, when it was taken away from me for so long, it was a real real eye opener to how much I loved it really, and I just fell back in love with playing, getting back into training, watching football, and just being around the lads. I really missed that side of the, 
of football, yeah. So, and, and with regards to the injuries you both suffered, we all know how important a pre-season is. Are you taking or do you take extra sort of steps and care to to try and make sure you stay fit? I know it's very difficult. I haven't been there myself. You do, yeah. I think you just kind of pay more attention to your pre-activation before training, make sure your body's ready and things like that so you're not going into training cold. I mean, we always do long warm-ups and things like that, but it just gives you peace of mind. You get to just know your body a little bit more and, and know how you operate if you need a massage before training and, and how you, kind of like how you're feeling. So it's them added measures and then the gym after, just maintenance on your, on your body, which you have to stay on top of so that you don't kind of slip back into that. Yeah, it comes with experience, as experience, you said, and, yeah, and, yeah, knowing, yeah. and knowing your, your, your body, I suppose. Uh, Frank Lampard coming in and having the chance to both work with him, knowing what he's achieved, and, and for you, Tom, played in a sim similar position yourself, is, is that a real boost? Yeah, definitely. I think since all the staff have come in, really, they've been, they've been great for the lads, and they give us that sort of boost that we needed, and bought into the club's philosophies, and got the fans behind us, which is massive being part of Everton and playing in them games when you need the fans. It's it's really important to do that, so they've been great that way. And, and for me, a yeah, player I've idolised growing up, watching them in the Premier League, and as many points I can learn from them, I will do, yeah. And you mentioned the impact that the whole of Frank Lampard and his team had when they came in last season, but this is the first pre-season. Uh, uh, we're quite newly into it, but are you enjoying it? Is it, is it good? Is it tough? It's been really good, yeah. It's been, you know, a mixture of football and, and running and, and hard work. And I think, you know, it's always good when you've got the balls out, but then it's almost disguise running, you know, and <laughs> when the pitches, you know all about that. So it's just good to be to be getting to work. And I've not actually had a pre-season like this for as long as I can remember. There's always been either a tournament or a reason why I've not been available in pre-season. So it's nice for me to kind of start fresh where all the lads are starting and, go through that process with, with everybody. Yeah, it's vital to, to make sure, that, as you said, that you have a bit of downtime as well. You know, you've let your bodies rest and recover to then get up and go again. Um, so I wish you all the best with that. And, and it's not just Frank Lampard that's come in. There's been a, a fairly big backroom team as well, but some real quality. How's that been? And, and do you get more one-on-one -on -one time on the training pitch or, or even more one-on-one -on -one time off the pitch? Um, yeah, I think I think with the people that have come in now, the the emphasis is really on pushing the club. Not that it's never been this, but I think it's just with them people coming in, it's really honed in on on what we need to do. And um, even with the staff, with with Frank and um, being able to get them them opportunities to speak about your game, about how you can help the team, um, it's really important to do. So I think with everyone coming in, it's it's been good in that way that we can get more conversations and start to everyone pushing in that same direction which maybe in the last few years it hasn't happened because of changeovers and and things like that but I think it's it's definitely great to have everyone around yeah for me I think you know each member of staff provides a different provides something different so you know you can kind of bounce your your ideas and your opinions off different people and you get different views back which is which is really good I think because it's it's just a different learning points and different views so it's been really good so far and it's a fresh view on, on football and, and on what we want to be as a club and, and our identity. So now's the perfect time to, you know, work on that and, and train well and, and practice so that we're ready for when, when the season starts. Well, next up, we know how you're both into your fashion, so we've got some photos for you to go through. A few familiar faces, see what you make of... See what you make of what they're wearing. Your fashion critique. I see he's uh, matched the trainers with the, the Everton scarf. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice touch. I really like the way he's put the rain and the, the, the sprinklers in the background. Ah, yeah, it's clever, that. It's really brought the <laughs> yeah. pictures to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah? Yeah, as far as, you know, it was his uh, first step onto Goodison Park. Set the tone, hadn't he? It was an introduction, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, he set the tone. Yeah. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Nice. Oh, and Dell. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. His gloves. <laughs> like his gloves, though, yeah. he's chose. His gloves really match his, uh, his T-shirt. Now his T-shirt matches his wash bag. Yeah. Mm, see what he's done there. And then the car in the back as well, even. 
Yeah, it's Jord Jordy P, down to it too. Yeah, yeah, that's him. <laughs> Can't go wrong, can yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well then, Jord. Yeah, that is Jord, that. What's he got on there? Yeah, I see what he's done there. He's gone for the uh, the chessboard look, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. Mm. It's really in at the minute. Yeah. Starboy. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Bleach Blonde there. Yeah, lo a love ant. Just expressing himself as a young lad. Just doing him, isn't he? Yeah. Got a lot of time for it. Me too. Yeah. Oh. Alex Iwobi. <laughs> Iwobi's got a bit, yeah? <laughs> yeah, he has. Yeah. That's the first one I've thought was all right. Yeah, he always looks well, Al, to be fair. <laughs> he does, yeah. I think he takes a lot of care of how he looks. Yeah. Fair play to him. Always smells nice as well. Does he, yeah? Yeah. You're getting a bit too personal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho. God, there's in his whistle and flute. Oh, I'm, having, I'm having that, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strong. That's the best one we've seen, eh? Yeah. You'll never see Ben Godfrey without a fresh trim, by the way. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Really? If you see one without a fresh trim, you're going to make a wish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Damari. Damari. Wonder where he is there. He's picking. Um, Oh, tiles for his bathroom? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. Looks well done. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Dimmy always wears his caps like, on the top of his head like that as well. Yeah, it's an interesting look. Yeah, it is. I don't think I could pull that off. I'm going to ask him why he does that. <laughs> Looks like you've seen a picture of the rock. <laughs> <laughs> the young rock. <laughs> Go on, Jerry. Yeah, best guy <laughs> Very ever. Well. Jerry Mina, best guy ever. Greatest really. guy, yeah. Yeah. Nice little leather, leather jacket on. Yeah. Million dollars he looks. Looks smooth, yeah. Yeah. Dwayne Johnson. Hey, hey, hey. Dave -o. It's me in Malibu. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just enjoying yourself. <laughs> just got back from 12 hours in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Left his tie there. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, come on. Who's that? Just Donatella. Do you reckon on that? Any rig out there? It's great, yeah, I love the sweatshirt. Thanks. Are you still got it? Yeah. Good experience, that. Nice. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Yeah, good curls as well. Did you have them curled specially? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great picture. Who's this fellow here sneaked in at the end? <laughs> <laughs> you, please tell me you were playing golf. I was. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I was playing in, me, uh, yeah, just in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> that was my testimonial charity golf day, that oh, was. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah a good few years back. I like that, yeah. Whereabouts? Yeah, a Formby Hall. Oh, very yeah, nice. I think what, I pulled, was your, what was your thoughts behind that then? I think I was just trying to pull it off, really, yeah. wasn't I? I was just trying to stand out. I had, I'd had them pants for a while and I thought, yeah, it's time. I admire the time. confidence there. It's time. I think I took them off before I got to the first tee, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had a complete outfit change before the first team. I always have to wear two pants when I play golf. Two pants? Yeah. Yeah. In case you get a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> they will I be didn't see that coming. <laughs> so a few questions now from the fans. Got a few written in to, to ask you these questions. So I'll start with this, you can both answer. What's the largest animal you could single-handedly cling film to a lamppost? Oh. Just, just me doing it? Yeah, you're on your own. Is the animal awake or is it sleeping? Oof, I think you could determine that. Okay, so it's a sleeping animal. Yeah, sleeping animal. <laughs> I'm not sure you have to fight the animal. Yeah, because I'm saying you're like trying to cling film. Yeah, okay, it's asleep. The largest. A goat. Interesting. You can go bigger than that. Yeah, I can. A camel. Yeah. Ooh. Has it got to be off That's the floor? Heavy. One hump or two? <laughs> I don't know. Might not have enough cling film for two. Has it, has it got to be off the floor? I didn't write the questions. <laughs> um, well, this is what <laughs> things we need to know. I'm going to say a shark. Wow. It'd be slippery, that though. True, yeah. Right, I'm going to go for. If you're picking it up and you've got a cling film, it's single-handedly. I'll go sheep. Yeah, I think that'll get caught all up in the cling film and help yeah, you out that yeah. one. And I feel like the shape of it, you could throw it on there. Yeah, I'm having that. You 
still sticking with shark. Still sticking with the shark, yeah. Right, brilliant. Not a huge one, like a middle one. <laughs> okay, Jaffa cakes, biscuit or cake? Cake. Jaffa cakes, biscuit or cake? Cake or biscuit? Biscuit. I'm going to say cake. Tea and biscuits for me. Fair enough. Do you sing in the shower? And if so, what do you sing? Sing in the shower, me, yeah. Yeah. Um, depends what's on. Mm. Oh, so you put music on to get in the shower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. It's always nice, that. All right. A bit of TLC. Yeah, yeah, a bit of TLC. Tough Unless day. it's a quick one. <laughs> <laughs> then you just in and out, aren't you? Yeah. So then you just have to a cappella, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. What's your, what's your a cappella song? Probably if I some John Legend or something, me. Come on, give us, a, give us a verse. Nah. At last. There we go. One. My love <laughs> has come and gone. <laughs> My lonely days are over. Really <laughs> set the boot there, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, is cereal a soup? No. <laughs> Who's asked that question? I'd, it's on here. A cereal I, soup? It doesn't say who's Could asked be. it, to be Is honest. cereal a soup? I don't think what only one would own up to it. Is cereal a soup? No. Yeah, I agree. Would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? Oh, hands for feet. Hands for feet. Couldn't play football, no. That's a tricky oh, one. That is a tricky one. You'd have to go feet for hands. Feet for hands. Yeah, but then, <laughs> are you going to brush your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> oh... Feet for hands. Yeah, feet for hands, I think. You need the feet, don't we? Who's yeah. your favourite musician? <sighs> Always um, a tough question, that, because it changes. Tom's got a ukulele. I've seen it. Just I've got to be honest. Bus, I saw it as we were travelling, and I nah, just knew it was yours. The thing <laughs> is, I only bought it last week, so I'm relatively new. So, Dom for me. Oh, Brilliant. Yeah. Is he, are you planning on being famous ukulele player or is it progression it's a progression thing i think is it but i'll only play for people when i feel confident enough i'm not confident yet strumming yeah it's the strum different strums okay fair enough arctic monkeys for me alex turner good answer recently sheffield Chef. good answer friends. steel city friends yeah friends i don't i don't know him personally but that's bainsey bainsey yeah bainsey, bainsey knows, knows him. him yeah he does yeah, bainsey knows them well but you're still sticking with Dom. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Quite a contrast there. Oh, both from Sheffield. You've never seen me play, though, have you? No. Me. You're not confident enough to yet? <laughs> Maybe it's just a smoke screen. <laughs> <laughs> Are there more doors or wheels in the world? Oh, I've had that one before. <sighs> doors, eh? Doors. What do you think, Oz? I think wheels. Do you, yeah? Yeah. I've just seen a lot of doors in this every place. Every car's got four oh, wheels. wheels. Every bike's got two wheels. Oh, every skateboard. Every, house has got every roll, pair of roller boots. Mm. Yeah, but true. we're not talking about front doors, are we? We're talking about internal doors as well. I Bathroom think someone doors. should try and find the answer to that. Oh, wouldn't like to be that person. <laughs> <laughs> be there a while, wouldn't you? Yeah. Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck or a hundred <laughs> duck-sized horses? <laughs> <laughs> a horse-sized duck. You ever asked that? Or must be quacking. <laughs> <laughs> or a hundred. Here all week, America. <laughs> a horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses. Yeah. I'm. Not, I'm. So a horse-sized duck would be scary, though. You yeah. Know? Imagine that. I like to just see it, maybe. No, nah, I wouldn't. I think a hundred horses. A hundred duck-sized horses. Yeah. I think I'd rather fight the one big one, me. Would you? Yeah, because you can see it coming and now. The little one's just jumping all over you and... Oh, <laughs> They're this big, though. Hundred, hundred of them. <laughs> the ducks aren't that big. Ducks are pretty decent sized. So it's the size of a duck, eh? This big. Go on, tell your joke. Dom's got a good joke. <laughs> Come on. No, I can't. Go on, oh, tell yeah, a joke. Yeah, I can't no, tell that joke. All right, it's not for this. Tell me later. <laughs> yeah, well, it's out. <laughs> <laughs> Every guest on our show this trip will sign this amazing Everton pennant. And for your chance to win it, go to the link below. And that's all from us for now, from out here in the States. But stay tuned across our channels for plenty more exclusive content throughout the trip. We'll be back here for episode two very soon. 
Thanks for joining us. Update Sophies.